We're taking the overnight train to Kotal. Ferry left already. Jeremy has a fantastic idea. Oh, I'm getting a bit scared. The tourists are back. We're at 995 Duck. I had some good duck. Mm. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? As you can tell, we're at the train station. We're taking the overnight train to Kotal. Best way to travel. We will be on this train from 7.30 at night until 5.50 in the morning. We will get off at Champuan, where the La Praia Ferry Company will be waiting to take us to the ferry that supposedly leaves 10 minutes after we arrive, and it's all going to work out wonderfully one way or the other. Yes, and I found a coffee shop. And your shirt is about the same color as your hair, so if I change the blue tints in this <laughs> video, we'll both look like this. I'm gonna take some Dramamine and probably sleep the entire time. And that. So we will hopefully catch you from the ferry. Good morning from Champuan. Our overnight train from Bangkok was wonderful. They have new padding on the beds. Very comfortable. Ferry left already. I'm king of the world! <laughs> Woo! sitting in this beautiful spot with some friends we met on the train and for some reason my uh, local phone keeps getting phone calls and I haven't given anybody my number so <laughs> scary <laughs> Jeremy has a fantastic idea so I think I'm gonna join him that's Jeremy hello we're two foreigners from France and we met in the train <laughs> yesterday and we were supposed to go somewhere but we changed all our plan to be there with them because they had some better better plans <laughs> and better yeah, infos that we didn't get so now we're enjoying the some time here in the beach of uh, making some new friends so it's cool. We're gonna enjoy uh, Koh Tao diving. Next we go to Koh Samui to end uh, our trip and then we go back to France. And we'll still be on Koh Tao and they'll be back to work. Oh yeah. We're not gonna tell you what their work is but it's pretty hard, so yeah. This is why we're gonna enjoy a lot. Maybe we will see our stuff climbing if you go. Yeah, yeah. Without. We heard they were going to Kosamui. Hey, there's Stefani's place. They're gonna stay at his place because how can you pass mm -hmm. up on that view and that pool and that walk up that hill? I've heard a lot of, about that hill. Now yeah. I'm getting a bit scared. He's gonna do the hill telling me it's like this and then like this. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Bye. We're back on that because the like button is on that So if you like the video, click the and subscribe. Very good. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> About another hour to go for the ferry. Got some great coffee, our books. We're all set. Really can't complain too much about waiting when you're waiting in a place that's just as beautiful as where you're going. So we told you that they had really hard jobs and we were being all mysterious about it. Uh, we are Olympic swimmer from France and from uh, Switzerland. And we swim uh, for how many years? For 15 years. 15 years. I did three times uh, Olympic Games. I did only two times two Olympic times. Games. For Charlotte, she was bronze, so third in the 2012 in London. And I was also bronze third in the 2021 in Tokyo. Then in 2018, she she was European champion 10 minutes before I was also Olympic champion, the European, European champion. champion. So that was an amazing moment. And well, now we are in uh, holidays. Yeah, so now we enjoy it. <laughs> so awesome. cool. Yeah. So we're going to put their Instagrams in right here. <laughs> so you can check them out and you can root for them when they're in the next Olympics. Kicking ass. Thank yeah. you. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Well, it is safe to say the tourists are back to Koh Tao. Wow, it is packed. Thankfully, we have our nice driver from Mar 24, picked us up right at the pier, and we will in short time be at our beautiful hotel. The welcome here was wonderful. And this giant room is even better. Big TV, love seat, big work desk, snacks, and refillable waters. Giant shower. And downstairs, there's a pool. Now for the bed check. That's a memory foam. Oh, that's gonna be nice. And there's two of them. Well, two of them. Oh, that's gonna be nice. We were just looking out our window and saw a snake on the roof. Welcome to Island Life. We're at 995 Duck. Shasha and Jeremy highly recommended this place. And as an added bonus, Sean and Molly came to visit from Vietnam. Do you think the 995 Duck would be as good as like 83 Duck? <laughs> Is that the one we went to in Bangkok? <laughs> really 
and moist. The bean paste on it, soybean paste, is very rich. I like this a lot. Mm. That is some good duck. <clears throat> Spicy as well. <laughs> That's some good duck. Mm. Nice. Oh, so good. Josh, uh, Jeremy, thank you so much for the recommendation. We're just gonna get to eating and yeah, that's us. Ah, oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, oh, that duck was awesome. That was awesome. Now we're on the hunt for desserts. Uh, yeah, I am not good at this, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, foot massages, <laughs> yeah. foot massages and desserts. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> After some amazing foot massages on the beach, we just spent the rest of the evening checking out the gorgeous sunset. We'll leave you with some views of that. Catch up with us next week when we go on a tour of the island and check out what's underneath the water as well. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>